Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to do this art journal page. I'm going to change it, I'm going to tweak it a little bit, but what I want to do is a year-long art journal that I'm going to have at the end of the year. I'll have 12 little projects, kind of like the Tim Holtz 12 tags of 2017. I'm going to do 12 little journal pages. So basically, <clears throat> it's a half a piece of I'm going to use probably watercolor paper and mixed media paper. I got these at AC Moore the other day. They were on sale like $5.99 and $6.99 or something. So all I've done is cut a piece of mixed media paper in half. And then that's this is uh, going to be the page size. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to bind it at the end of the year. I'll, I might use my bind it all or I might... Um, just use a binding ring so for today my page for January is going to be uh, I'm going to seal it first with some matte medium so I've just gone over the entire page and let it dry matte medium um, because I'm going to be using some products <clears throat> that are new to me fairly new I played around a little bit well, I made this one, so that this was the first time I'd used them, so that it was kind of like I was thinking a lot. So I just wanted to make the page for you guys, um, and I know what I'm doing. So I got these fluid acrylics, the set of fluid acrylics at Michael's. I had a 55% off coupon, so they ended up being they're $37 regularly, and I got them for like 17, so I got $27 off and. The only, it has two whites, one's zinc white and one's titanium white, but it doesn't have a black. That's the only thing I wish it had a black, but I'm loving them, so I'm going to use this blue, phthalo blue, and a uh, phthalo green. So I'm going to be using those. Um, I'm going to use the white, and I think I'm going to just use those for now. But the, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is some... Um, crackle paste and <clears throat> I'm going to use it through these stencils and I'm, the idea is to kind of have a, a winter sky you know a winter winter scene so I'm just going to put this on um, the background I'm use my palette knife and gently just Go over. This is a stencil that I got from Michaels. It's a recollection stencil, um, and it's kind of a uh, soft plastic. It's not real stiff, so I can I gotta be careful. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it so much. But I I just it took so long. I wanted to shorten it for you guys. So your first, you can use any stencil you want to. I think I'm going to do it the exact same way with the stenciling. I really like the way that looked. And you don't need a ton of medium on your palette knife. Just enough to get it, to get the design onto the paper. Like that. and got some there but that's okay I'm gonna put that down I think I'm gonna put some of these circles I don't know if I need to, I want to leave them off I think I'm gonna put them on try and just be gentle with it and not as I was very messy on the first one I did so maybe not even as thick just try to be really thin. And this will, I'm going to end up speckling it, spattering it with white to represent snow. So um, I figured I'd just put a little bit of texture paste. <coughs> more circles over here 
Yeah, they weren't even very round on the first one, but I can do it better. But this is a, this was so fun for me because I never use paste and stencils. Like some of you guys, some of you mixed media artists, you do this all the time, but I don't. So it was super fun. Now I just have to try not to touch the other stuff, I guess. Um, but there is a little learning curve to this stuff, you know. I'm sure the more you do it, the better you get. Oh, see how... <laughs> well, you yeah, know, I'm telling you, there is a little learning curve. But, uh, still fun. So that looks a little bit messy. But after it's all said and done, it that this hardly shows at all. <clears throat> this is tricky though when you have all the other paste on there and you don't want to put your stencil in it but I want it on there so here we go it's just a matter of moving it in the right direction gently Sarah and I'm very rough so I'm proud of myself if I can oops <laughs> probably went right under the stencil Let's see. Oh no, that looks great. All right, cool beans. So I'm gonna go away and let that crackle and then we're gonna add color. So I'm gonna, I'll probably hit it with my heat tool to speed it up a little bit and then I gotta find which way I want the top and which way I want the bottom. I think that's the top. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, it's all dry. So just FYI, this is the DecoArt Media Crackle Paste. Uh, got it at ooh, Amazon, I think, because I think Michaels might sell it too. But the directions, because I had only used it the first time today, it says, um, tintable, apply with a palette knife, tintable with media fluid acrylics. So these are fluid acrylics, so that's what made me want to try it. Um, and it also does say that you can put a matte medium and let it dry before you apply the crackle paste. And that the size of the cracks depend on the thickness of the application. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Now I'm, I don't think I really needed it to crackle for this particular page. That wasn't really part of the design. Like it's not that necessary. They did crackle though. It did crackle. But you don't really see it with this small of a design and some of the bigger drops you do but what all I'm going to do is add some of this phthalo blue to the top I'm just putting out a tiny bit I'm going to use my big brush and a little bit of with a little bit of water in it because I do want it to be very but look at all that pigment oh man that is so awesome and I'm just gonna paint it across and let it I don't want it too thick I want it to be kind of sheer so that you can and I'm gonna just let the brush make those marks at the bottom like it's kinda like grassy looking I'll go a little bit further. Oops. And then when I put the green, <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. And here's the green. I'm just going to use a tiny bit. Can you see how much I put? Teensy tiny, but water in my brush. And then I'm just, that's probably too much water. I think I want it a little darker than that. I want it darker. I'm going to get a little more. I'm not used to these. I'm used to the regular acrylic, not, not heavy body, but like bottle baby acrylics, this kind. Because that's, I'm, a, I'm an acrylic painter, uh, decorative painting, so I added too much water to it. 
But look, it's it's such a it's a lot of pigment though. I think that's what people love about them. And we'll get maybe we we'll get some drippage, right? And it really brings out the cracks. Now you can see the cracks. So I'm going to let this dry, or I'm going to push it to dry. And actually, do I want to need, do I need it to dry first? It's so pretty already. I love it. i um, going to use asphaltum. The first time I used um, the quinacridone, I think I'm going to mix a little bit of this actually. The quinacridone Nico Azo Gold. I'm going to mix it with asphaltum, which is just a dark brown color because um, I think my trees were a little too transparent. I want them to be a little more opaque. So it's about one to one. I'm going to use the same brush. And maybe I should dry this though. I'll be right back. Alright, so I decided it's dry. I decided to add my, well this isn't rub and buff. I keep wanting to call it rub and buff. It is, um, looking for my squirt bottle. This is Inca Gold. My green gets a little dried up. But I'm just going to gently, that wasn't gentle rub it over the raised areas. Oop. So just kind of over the whole grass area before I do the trees. The first one I did, I did this after and I think it covered up too much of the trees. So I'm just, because you know I love everything sparkly so I thought that was a cool way to add some. Uh, I'm going to put words down here so I don't want to I didn't want to put too much, um, but that is so cool. All right, sorry. I'm going to do turquoise Inca gold on the top. Then I'm going to do the um, trees. But you can really see the crackle. Maybe I should do a darker. I have a lot of different blues. I think I'm going to try... I have... Cobalt and steel blue. I'm going to try the cobalt. Ah, now we're talking. I like that. You can definitely see that when you run it over the raised areas. And you can still see the crackle. Cool, right? Can you see that? I can. All right, it makes me happy. That makes me very, very happy, actually. And <clears throat> now I'm going to take some watered down paint and drippage to make, uh, did I use the right lid? Yeah, to make the trees. So I'm going to take that same big brush and this is um, Nico Azo, no, no, wait, is it Nico Azo Gold? Quinacridone Nico, Nickel Azo Gold and Asphaltum and a little bit of water. I definitely think. Hopefully this will be runny. There we go. And it's going to symbolize some trees. So. Definitely want it to drip. Don't really want to squirt it. I want it to do its own thing, but see, because I added the um, regular acrylic paint, I might have to squirt it because the Nico Azo Gold went all by itself. Sorry, I know you can't really see what it's doing. So I think I'm going to have to squirt.
but it's bleeding out. I didn't really want it to bleed out. I still like it a lot. Hold on. As long as they get into the green, I'm happy. I can actually just... It's different than the first one, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit. I don't want it to look so... I think I'm good because then I can just take I have a liner here take some of that paint and kind of make it look more purposeful they don't have to go all the way to the bottom because um, See, I like those. This got a little bit muddy over here. But I like it. I think I'm going to dry it. And then we'll come back and we'll add some branches. And I'm just going to use the regular asphaltum. Be right back. So it just needed a little more purpose. These, there's a couple over here that don't have as dark of a, but I think that's good. That's all I want to do. Then I'm just going to take this and make some branches like coming off. And I'm going to just keep going to the right while I'm at it. And they can have all different angles and so there's some in the foreground, some in the background. See, I shouldn't have done that. Once we get all the other, like, the glitter on here and everything, it's going to look spectacular. This one has a lot more trees than the other one did. So, I might be getting a little crazy with the branches, actually. But, I think, I'll stop in a minute. I think it looks good. I think I probably should have um, dripped it from the bottom, but I was thinking that some could look like they're further in the distance, the trunks, and some could look like they're all the way down. So that's what I was thinking, you know. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I'm going to do a little bit of shading with the asphaltum as well around the edges and I'm not sure that it's dry enough. I think I want to dry it. 
Okay, it's all dry. And I'm debating. Um, I want to spatter, but I think I'm going to shade around the edges with some asphaltum first. So I'm using my angle brush, my beat up angle brush, and some water and my palette paper. And I'm just going to side load and go down the sides. Just, just like you guys would do with ink. I mean, you could ink the edges. I'm just painting it. That's because just that's just what I'm used to doing. And then, really, we're we're pretty much done. But I am gonna add some of that uh, glitter to my branches and make it look like snow or ice. I mean, so. Then I'm going to add, it's just going to say, the heart of winter. So I'm going to put a heart on there. <clears throat> I mean, you could actually paint a heart. You could do whatever. I glued one on. Um, maybe I'll paint it. I mean, I'm just, I'm having so much fun though today. I did my, oh, my journal page for uh, Wonderlust today. I'll do a share of that after a couple months. I'll share some of the classes, but I am determined to, uh, oops, do most of the classes, if not all. I really, really, really want to try and do all the classes. So that's my goal. All right, so that framed it up a little bit. Now I'm going to spatter. I'm going to use the white, let's see, titanium white. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit again. I guess I can move it into the shot. And a little bit of water on my brush. I'm not going to drench the brush because it's already a fluid acrylic, right? So I don't want to do what I did to the green. And then I'm just going to tap some snow flakes. There we go. Just started to snow. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that from where um, I'm kind of getting a little crazy, but it's snowing. So I want this to show up. a lot huh but I think it looks good so now I gotta let that dry <clears throat> and then I'm gonna add the glitter with the this is called where is it glamour dust and I heard about this actually I think it might have been on the supply list for wonderlust too and so was you know a lot of the different mediums are on there and I have a lot of them, but and when I don't, I am getting them when I have a 55% off coupon or, you know, even a 40% off, I go pick it up. But I'm really glad I tried these. These are fantastic. Um, but this is just glitter, and I'm sure I have some fine glitter, but um, I wanted to try this because this is deco art, and, but it says, add sparkle to painted fabric or craft projects. Uh, on fabric, shake onto a thick layer of wet paint, fabric paint. So you know that fabric paint is so thick uh, and dry for 48 hours. On craft projects, shake desired amount onto wet paint or over a wet clear drying adhesive, which that's what I'm going to do. And <clears throat> it is pretty cool. It's definitely, this color is called crystal. So I don't know, like, but the the quality of the glitter is very sparkly so all right let's see I'm gonna go away and dry this and I'll be back because I don't want to take up time drying stuff well we're all dry I'm going to take matte medium and put a little bit out on my palette actually that was just right into white paint I don't want to put it on my white paint <clears throat> using my liner brush um 
Yeah, this is good. I was looking for my other one. It's a little, no, I want to keep it like this. And I'm just going to basically, hopefully, try and go over some of the branches. Um, not all of them, but it, it's really hard for me because I love glitter. I love it. I love sparkle. So I'm trying to, right now I'm just hitting all the ones on the right sides of the, and I don't want it to dry, so I probably should hurry up. I mean, I guess matte medium, well, it might not dry as fast as paint, but I'm taking a long time. All it seems like is it's taking forever. All right, I'm going to stop. I have a piece of paper here. I'll do another uh, coat <clears throat> because I'm pretty sure I didn't do any of the left side. I only got the right side of the trees. I mean, you could just do this with stickles, but the, the whole thing was I just wanted to try something new. And I had it. So you can see it. I love it. I love the color of this glitter. It is so pretty. And it's so fine. So I'm just going to... I'll use that again. Let me get my brush. And... See, that looks like paint. Am I using... can't tell which one was the paint. I think this is not paint. Okay. I just want it to be clear, so I'm going to go this way this time. Well, that was a big blob of water. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over my cold, so I'm pretty happy about that, but I'm still a little congested. Sorry. I know I sniff a lot. I've been told. Uh-oh. See, I think that's got white paint in it. I don't want white paint. I just want glitter. I mean, clear. I'm going to put out more because I don't know which pile it was. <coughs> now I know. Alright. Clear. Clear. All right, you think that's enough? I think that's probably enough. That's supposed to look like ice on the trees. I think it does. I love it so much. Okay, sorry, I sing a little bit when I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Put that back. And then, I mean, basically, I think I'm done. Uh... I really like the color of that glitter. Oops, it's a very um, diamond, like it's diamondy. I like it a lot. Can you see the spatter too, or should I spatter again? I could probably spatter one more time. But basically, we're done. I just would do, because January, this is what gave me the, the inspiration. Let me read you this. I was Googling last night and Pinterest and all that stuff. Um, but Oh, it's in my photos. But basically, it says, In Finnish, the month of 
Tem Tamaku means the heart of winter, and because the name literally means oak moon, it can be inferred that the oak tree is the heart of the grand forest. Oh man, now I just thought of, I should have done a moon, like a moon glowing. So you guys can add a moon. Just put a like white shine, anyway. <laughs> um, it can be inferred that the oak tree is the heart of the grand forest with many valuable trees as opposed to the typical arctic forests, which are typically pine and spruce. So the photograph of a large tree covered with ice against the blue sky is a familiar scene during Finland's winter. So that was, I think, what inspired me. I, was, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this, but when I started playing today, it's just what happened. I was thinking of, like, branches coming from the sides, but then when I did the drippage, it was just too cool. So that's my forest of uh, winter forest with icy branches. And um, I would just, I'm just going to put right down here somewhere the, the heart of winter. So, and I think I'm going to use a different font and different. And then up here I put January. Because, like I said, I am going to create a little book at the end of the year that I'll have all the months, kind of just like a Tim Holtz uh, 12 tags of 2017. This will be our little art journal of 2017. So, um, see how they both turned out different? I love it. I love it. All right. This was so fun, you guys, and I hope you join me for the 12 months of 2017 art journaling. All right. Thanks for watching.